Hello, I'm Joe Wren. A group of Monroe County parents filed a lawsuit in federal court today challenging a portion of Indiana's Charter Schools Act that allows a religious college to authorize a charter school. After the state charter board denied its application twice, Seven Oaks got approval from Grace College and Seminary. So essentially, they didn't like the result of the state agency, so they went and appealed to a church, which overruled the state agency. The lawsuit asks for Seven Oaks Charter to be revoked and for an injunction stopping the distribution of state funds to the school and Grace College. Fitch Ratings is once again downgrading the private activity bonds being used to fund construction of I-69 from Bloomington to Martinsville. The credit ratings agency says the downgrade from B to B- is the result of growing uncertainty about the project. A memorandum of understanding was reached in February that says I-69 Development Partners and Isolex Corson will spend an additional $75 million on construction, but Fitch says it's unclear where that money will come from. And Governor Eric Holcomb announced today he plans to sign a series of controversial measures. The bills include one that would allow legislative staffers to carry guns into the state house and one measure allowing the use of marijuana extracted oil in treating children with epilepsy. This does not put us on a slippery slope to legalizing marijuana, uh, quite the contrary. Holcomb signed a bill today requiring judges to decide whether parents are told that their minor daughter is asking the court's consent for an abortion. And now here's a quick check of the forecast first for tonight. Partly cloudy, lows down to 58, and in the five-day forecast tomorrow, more sun, 81, cooler, more rain the next few days, 66 Thursday, 75 on Friday.